Welcome back guys. Last time we got ambushed and I kind of wanted to end the video. It was going, it was going on for too long. Uh, because we're getting ambushed, of course, we're outnumbered. I think we can still win. I have some paladins. I have a treb trebuchet. I'm not sure if the trebuchet is better in this mod compared to vanilla med medieval 2. I guess we'll, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, I can win if most of the troll units are, you know, typical regular ones. Infantry, maybe some skirmishers, some archers, spearmen. But if they have spellcasters, or if they have the dreaded troll catapult, uh, I'll probably lose. Especially since I don't have a lot of cavalry to uh, take down the siege equipment quickly. All right, let's let's do it. Even if I lose, I have two full stacks nearby, so not too big of a deal. I'm not worried. Okay. We have our trebuchet. Oh, I've never used these guys before. The, the S S S I seven operatives. The Stormwind CIA, I guess. It says they have uh, missile units. I'm, I'm not sure if, if they're gunners or archers or, or what. They also stay hidden as long as they're not moving, which is pretty cool. Mm. Let's put them like this. Okay, just looks like an okay formation. I can always change it up later. Speed it up a little. Oh yeah, let's see, let's see what the enemy has. These, these are all trash units, trash, trash. Yeah, it's all trash, I think. And then a general's bodyguard, that's the toughest unit. Yeah, I think, I think we can win this. I think there's a good chance we'll win it. At least 60% chance, unless I mess something up. And now they're within range for the trebuchet to hit them. Let's see if it kills any of them, not yet. Speed it up a little bit more. Oh, so these guys do use guns. That's that's good to know. And let's move the general's bodyguard somewhere safe. And I can I can flank them later on. Four percent of them dead. Okay, pretty good. Okay, we're winning so far. Big charge.
Let's do another big charge. Nice. The paladins held the line really well. Man, I I love paladins in this game. It's almost done. One, I, only the general's bodyguard is left. And he died. Okay, well this went a lot better than I thought. Knight's bodyguard did really well. Oh, the, the SI-7 operatives did really well. I guess they are pretty good. Paladins did well. Trebuchet. The trebuchet was pretty useless. I guess, I guess it is meant mostly for attacking... Um, settlements taking down the walls but uh this is a pleasant surprise about the si7 operatives so they have guns they can shoot enemies from far away and they seem to do pretty well up close as well gonna recruit more of those plus they look really cool in those like black ranger robes they remind me of the rangers and uh lord of the rings like faramir and his crew cool outfit Troll warriors execute. They attacked me. And we can lay siege to this uh, village. Oh, one more turn till Mosh Og Ogre Mound surrenders. So that that started off as, as an ogre uh, rebel settlement and the Gurubashi took it over. That's why it lacks ogres currently. Same thing with um, Mizja. I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, that, um, that was an ogre settlement as well. faction leader, uh, King Anduin. Let's bring him to Stormwind. I kind of wanted to create a really elite army based in Stormwind with him at its head. That'd be kind of cool for roleplay purposes. Let's save one more time. And maybe.
be... Let's do an auto-resolve. have an auto-resolved in a while. Good. Okay, let's end the turn. Oh wow, they then even sally out of the ogre mound. Kind of disappointing. We can right away lay siege to their capital, their new capital, after we took Zilgarub. And let's see what this settlement has. Demolish that. Demolish this. The king has arrived in Stormwind. Let's upgrade the armor of all of these units, make sure we create a good king's guard. A really elite army that can't fall.
let's upgrade the armor of all my units. Okay, pretty good. They're just taking an empty fort, no big deal. And they're sailing out of this village. This, let's see how this goes. So they have a pretty good general, but I have paladins, I have the SI7 ship. I'll, I'll definitely win. Save just in case. What are they doing? They're using a missile unit against heavy ca cavalry. Pretty dumb. One big charge to take care of them. General fell. Oh, that was their king. That was their leader. Nice. Oh wow, it destroyed their faction. All their remaining settlements are rebel settlements now. Because they killed their king and that was the last family member. <laughs> wow. Who would have thought in that small undefended little settlement they put their remaining family member. And now all these other remaining forces that they have, they're, they're kind of useless because they're they're rebels. Nice. So the Gurubashi are destroyed. Excellent. Mizja is now upgraded to a castle, a stone castle, a proper castle.
Lakeshire is ready to be upgraded, as is Eastvale. Okay. mop up these rebel forces. Siege to Zolkunda. Okay, end of turn. Oh, Goldshire is ready to become a city, a small city.
no signs of activity from the Black Rock Works, the, the Dark Horde, or whatever they're called. Yeah, the Dark Horde. That'll be my next major target once I take all these remaining rebel settlements. I have two rebel settlements here, one here, and then also the remnants of the Gurubashi. I'm not, I'm not gonna t um, take Booty Bay. They're my allies. I'm gonna try to uh, keep it, keep it that way. But just in case they betray me, I'll have at least one full stack stationed here so I can deal with them. Cause you never know, factions backstab you sometimes. And they get uh, they get mad over seemingly random things. What's our what's our relationship like? Uh, right now it says it's very good, probably because we had a mutual enemy. We were both fighting the Gudubashi. Okay, let's end the turn. Gonna send a spy, see what the Dark Horde is up to. the capital from Stormwind to Goldshire to make it a little bit closer to the center of my domain. Actually, let's let's move the, to Eastvale. Okay, I think I'll end it here for today. We defeated the Gudabashi. We're mopping up their remaining rebel forces and Stranglethorn will be done. And then most of these armies that I have here, next in the next video, I'm gonna move them up here, take this, this rebel settlement, and then also take these two. And then once everything is, once everything belongs to Stormwind, I'm going to send multiple full stacks and 
especially focus on this area right here of the dark horde because it's isolated. There is no path to the north, while this section is going to be a bit more difficult to take because there's a path to the north where they have more um, settlements that they control. So first go east, take this, then take take this, then this, then this, and then meet up with the dwarves and make sure that they're doing well as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to give it a like and see you next time.